क्वेश्चन नंबर वन से इज अ टेन ईयर ओल्ड चाइल्ड वॉज डायग्नोस्ड विद पी सी एच दैट इज परोक्सिजमल कोल्ड हिमोग्लोबिन यूरिया विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट ट्रू रिगार्डिंग दिस कंडीशन सो बेसिकली वी नीड टू नो अबाउट पी सी एच फर्स्ट ऑप्शन से इज डोनेथ लैंड स्टीनर हिमोलाइसिन दैट इज एंटीबॉडी इज इम्प्लीकेटेड इन द पैथोजेनेसिस सेकेंड इज दिस एंटीबॉडी बाइंड्स टू आर बी सी इन वॉर्म कंडीशन बट एक्टिवेट्स कॉम्प्लीमेंट ऑन कोल्ड एक्सपोजर लीडिंग टू द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ हिमोलिसिस Option C is it can be associated with syphilis, and option D is most cases are self-limited, and a role of corticosteroids is not defined. Now you need to understand that PCH is not a very common thing, but it's uh, not a completely you know uh, rare, ex absolutely rare thing as well. PCH has been reported to occur in children, and it has been reported to occur in adults as well. If you ask, if you ask about the median age of diagnosis. it is about 4 years so it is it can be it is seen in the pediatric population uh, earlier it used to be syphilis which used to be one of the common reasons uh, associated factors risk factors for pch both congenital and acquired but now we know that viral infections non specific viral infections including respiratory and gi infections they can sometimes specificate pch which exactly are the group of children which will be manifesting pch it is still not clearly understood although some minor risk groups have been defined now regarding pch you need to understand that the antibody which is implicated is a cold sensitive antibody called as doneth land steiner antibody it is directed against the p glycoprotein of the rbcs the important key concept to understand here is this antibody binds to the rbcs in cold exposure but hemolysis does not happen in cold hemolysis happens when the rbcs which are having this antibody bound they are exposed to a warm environment and that is the time during which complement activation will happen leading to the development of hemolysis understood it it is just not that uh, rewarming will produce the uh, the effect sometimes without rewarming also you may find pch acute episode to manifest like antibodies are there right suppose the child is having cold peripheries and the child is predisposed he is having these antibodies in the body so these antibodies will bind to the rbcs in the peripheral circulation and when these rbcs which are bound with uh, these antibodies they will move to the central part of the body which is relatively warmer and it is around 37 degrees celsius compared to the peripheries which might be at 32 33 you will find that in warm environment hemolysis will happen so this is a very very important point that you need to understand so the option b obviously is strong and the answer to this question is b most cases are self limited in fact more than 50% cases you will find that only a single episode happens and they do not have further episodes in the life and the role of corticosteroids is not defined Pre giving or uh maintaining with steroid has not been shown to affect the natural history of the disease so some key points related to pch taken from nelson majorly also from harrison and review article from indian pediatrics so pch it is a rare cause of immune mediated hemolysis it is mediated by the doneth land steiner dl hemolysin that is antibody it is a igg type of cold reactive autoantibody with ntp specificity on the rbcs these antibodies bind to rbc in the cold but when the temperature is restored to 37 degrees celsius then they activate complement producing hemolysis but the genesis is happening in the cold environment that is the time during which it is binding to the uh, rbcs median age of presentation is about 4 years right and the range given is between 1 year to 85 years that's how wide the range is underlying risk factors i just told you syphilis both congenital and acquired and viral infections are now considered to be the most common cause overall and most cases are self limited what is the self limited episode these antibodies you uh, they even if they have formed they tend to disappear within one month so uh, within one month you will find that pch episodes tend to resolve and majority of these patients will not have recurrences in later life although recurrences have been reported but majority of cases will they will have resolution within one month nelson only talks about self limited nelson does not talk about the period during which uh, uh, these episodes they tend to improve it is within one month of the onset and role of steroids is undefined in these patients right if there is a severe hemolysis obviously you will need blood transfusion uh, certain sophisticated centers tertiary care centers in western countries they will use p negative blood for uh, administration such a type of testing is not needed so majority of these patients uh, the usual routine bt can be given and uh, it is a condition with relatively good outcome